What is going on everybody? Welcome back to the channel. Today, tip number three on what you can do to get prepared during National Preparedness Month. Welcome back to the channel everybody in my backyard changing up the filming location today because I wanna show you tip number three. You can tell I'm out of breath. It's getting in shape. Tip number three that you can do for National Preparedness Month is to get your health in check. For too many of us are used to living those easy, comfortable lives, right? We sit on the easy chair. I, I have my spot sitting inside, but it's one of those things that should a natural disaster come, should something happen that you need to get up and move, you want your body to be able to move efficiently. And there are a variety of ways you can do this. Obviously, a lot of us think about the natural way our body moves and works things like running, jumping, lunging, never discount those body weight reps. I spent years as a uh, personal trainer, worked in a gym uh, a number of years ago. And people always think like, oh, body weight, that's too, too easy. Give me the hard stuff. If you do body weight right, that's really all you need. So I'm, I'm trying very hard, especially early on in these videos in the early part of the month to, to give you things that you can do for cheap or for free. Body weight movements are great. If you have a little bit of money to spend, still got some of my stuff set about here. We'll see if we can transition the camera okay. Right there you can see built uh, my own pull-up bar last year. In addition to that, spin around again, you can see we've got, uh, we've got an elliptical. And then I've got all sorts of weights, barbells, dumbbells, kettlebells, uh, sandbags, you name it, push-up apparatus, bands, almost a full entire gym here in the backyard. But getting prepared in your physical health is important. The far too many times when we talk about being uh, prepared for disaster, it takes shape in things like making sure you have water on hand, making sure you have food. And those are great things. We're going to talk about those. Those will be on the channel in a little bit. But don't let that come at the neglect, at the expense of your personal health. Having all of the water, all of the, the food on hand. If you caught yesterday's video and we talked about preparing your emergency binder, none of that means anything if you're not actually able to move your body when it matters most. If traveling up a flight of stairs gets you winded and you need minutes to recover. If you have neglected your health and you can't look down and see your own toes, you have an issue. You've got a problem that you need to work on. Physical fitness, physical health is just as important as some of the other things you're going to be talking about during this video series. So make sure to get your physical health in check. And if you need help, Leave a comment below, reach out to me. Like I said, I've, I've done that for years. I'd love to help you get started on that journey. Take your health seriously to get prepared, stay safe, and we'll see you on the next video.